Hi, I'm Jack Canfield. You probably know me as the co-creator of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. I was a featured teacher in The Secret and the co-author of the book, The Success Principles. I'm here with Donna Gunselman today, who is a wonderful woman with a big dream and a big vision. And as someone who has written a lot of Chicken Soup for the Soul books, we were always looking for stories of people who had overcome obstacles, who had gone for their dream, who followed their heart, followed their passion, and especially people ordinary people doing extraordinary things making a difference in their lives and and Donna is someone who's doing that now and I'd like to interview her for a few minutes and let you get to know her and what she's about and what she's up to so Donna you have a dream you have a passion something you really care about and tell us what that is and how it came to be such for you in your life well my dream right now uh, and my goal is to build homes for women who are battered abused um, to have a place to go, an, an alternative, um, an answer, so they don't have to stay around and, and be in the abuse. And, and how did this become a passion for you? What, what, uh, what's your own life experience that led you to this, this desire to serve other women? Well, I lived that life for 17 years and um, didn't have an answer, didn't have an alternative, and you stay out of fear. Um, so when you overcome that fear and you realize that there are other options then you begin to move on those options and your life changes and it gets better so here are 17 years in a situation where you're being abused and emotionally and physically whatever and and you you, you knew you wanted something better tell us what it's like to live inside that fear and that that self-doubt that doesn't allow you to move in a direction you know you want to move what is that like inside it's like a black hole you know, you feel like there's no way out. There are no answers. And you feel very alone, very depressed. Um, and, and you have the love of your children. That, that's what got me through, the love of my three children. Mm -hmm. And now you have this vision to help others take the step that you took. What was it allowed you to take that step? What was the, the defining moment that got you from living in fear, and I can't, and I'm not able to, to actually saying, I'm out of here. I'm, I'm not going to take this anymore. Well, first of all, my mother told me, she said, honey, when you get a belly full, you'll leave. <laughs> so I guess that happened one day, and I did. And then when I saw the movie The Secret, it totally and instantly changed my life because I realized that my thoughts were all wrong. You know, I'm sitting here thinking, I don't have another answer, I don't have an out, and I can't do this. But in all actuality, when I realized that I could and changed my way of thinking, then it all just started unfolding and started happening for me. Now, you know that to do your dream, it's gonna take money. How much money? Do you have a sense of, like, do you want to have one, one center, a hundred centers nationwide? You know, what's your vision? If you could just snap your fingers and have exactly what you want happening out there, what would you have accomplished? I want this to be nationwide because this is happening nationwide. It's everywhere and it happens every day, you know, as sad as it is. It happens every day, everywhere, to people that you would never imagine. And, and how, how will you get people to move? In other words, it's one thing to have a house for them to come to. What's your sense of how you'll be able to get them to say, okay, I know this is available, I'm going to take advantage of it? Education. They need to know that there is a better way. And, and when they can change their way of thinking, if I could give everybody in the world a copy of The Secret, I would, mm -hmm. because it has impacted my life so much. But just the education, and, and they need the courage and, and the support to go with that so they can you know get out and and have a better life because we all deserve a good life and you've come from a place where you were it, it sounds like a dependent housewife and mom and now you're an independent businesswoman making a serious amount of money you're really very successful now and i know you want to be more successful and part of what's driving you i understand is you want to make more money so that you can use that money to do the service for these women that are in these situations that's right that's fabulous that's really wonderful. So if you were looking at that camera, and that camera was a person, someone is in a house, being abused, doesn't realize there's a way out. The secret doesn't exist. The only secret is what you're going to tell them right now. What would you say to that woman? I would say, believe in yourself. You can have a good life. Don't stay. Very good.
Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate your vision. If we have more people like you who are willing to act on their inspirations, I truly believe that everything in the world would get handled, that every need would be met. So not only do I applaud what you're doing as your cause, but I applaud you as a model that I hope other people will look to and say, you know, if she can follow her passion and her dream, then maybe I can follow mine as well and do whatever it's in me to bring to the world. So thank you very much, Don. I appreciate spending this time with you. Thank you.